Okay, our next speaker is um, the aide to Congressman's roommate. <laughs> I heard that like 18 times there. You know. uh, by the way, what school was that? None of your business. <laughs> That's how you know he's my friend, right? That's how you know he's my friend. You know, every now and again you want to test the waters to find out who's really your friend. And when they come back with comments like that, you know that's your friend. <laughs> uh, the next person is Mr. Carlton Lewis, the um, aide to Miss Diane Johnson. Please come forward, Carlton. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. probably already noticed, uh, Ms. Diane Johnson is not here today, <laughs> but I just want to say to uh, the congressman, uh, kindly let her know that I showed up and said good morning to you today. <laughs> it's not the first time I heard that. <laughs> I'm glad to be back here in Patterson. Uh, for some of you who know me, uh, I've been coming back and forth to Patterson now for about, what is it, about five years, uh, Charles? Yeah. Uh, I was uh, formerly the homeless coordinator for Region 2, New York and New Jersey. And uh, I was the guy who came here and spoke to then uh, Freehold the Director Lee Evans and uh, Bob Garachi and uh, Donna Ivey and Charles and many others about starting a 10 year plan to end homelessness. And uh, as a part of my job, I had to travel around the state and around the country. Uh, looking at other plans and ways to improve homeless plans to end homelessness. And I, I just want to say one thing. Uh, once as a part of that job, I was sent to uh, San Francisco to a conference and I met a homeless veteran, a veteran of Desert Storm. We were on uh, Treasure Island. I don't know if any of you know San Francisco, but it's a little island between San Francisco and Oakland. It used to be a naval base. Uh, this veteran told me that he was living on Treasure Island now, but prior to that, he spent his life living in a box with his daughter on the streets of San Francisco. And thanks to a group called uh, Swords to Plowshares, who took over some of the uh, officers' quarters on Desert Island and made it uh, permanent, affordable housing for veterans, he had a house, a house to live in with his daughter. His daughter was able to get on a bus from Treasure Island and go to her school in San Francisco. And I, I was just floored because I used to, uh, when I was in school, live in that area and I once worked in that area and I came back to New York and New Jersey and I said, in addition to making sure that we cover everyone in our homeless plans, let's try to make use of every bit of available housing to house our men and women in uniform who have served this country well. As the son of a World War II veteran and the brother of a Vietnam War veteran and the brother of a sister who just retired a Lieutenant Colonel from the US Army I can only say this, we cannot do enough to honor our men and women 
who have served this country well. And on behalf On behalf of Miss Diane Johnson, who brought me here from New York, and I didn't even know why, <laughs> I just want to say you have our, our commitment uh, that we will be there working with you, working with your homeless plan, and working with you to ensure that we never leave a veteran behind, that we never uh, leave veterans on the street. Whatever we can do, we'll be there. I'm sure Diane will make sure that I'm the one here as the representative to all Veterans Affairs and the representative to all Homeless Affairs. I just want to thank you for letting me be here to be a part of this. I'm honored. Thank you.